Hello, my name is Teresa Snyder Livy. Welcome to today's webinar on microsatellite analysis tools in GeneMarker software. Basic functions of GeneMarker, such as importing data, setting analysis parameters, size and allele calling, importing and calibrating panels, are covered in the introductory webinar. Please review the introductory webinar for details on these functions. GeneMarker has a biologist-friendly design and linked navigation with highly accurate size calling algorithms, a flexible panel editor for use with commercial kits or custom chemistries, and includes a wide variety of applications and tools for post-genotyping applications. Applications and tools are listed here in the left and specialized reports at the lower right. The analysis workflow is fast and intuitive, guided by a three-page run wizard, importing data, activating the run wizard for size and allele calls, and then review and the analyzed data. During the first part of the webinar today, we will briefly review importing data and size call calibration charts. Wildlife and agricultural microsatellite research often requires use of custom chemistries. The flexible panel editor is an excellent tool to provide rapid, accurate allele calls for all microsatellite applications. We will create panels using the panel editor and discuss additional tools that are beneficial for microsatellite analysis. Unlike human microsatellite chemistries that are commercially available and amplify 12 to 17 loci in one multiplex, wildlife and agricultural mi microsatellite PCR multiplexes are often custom chemistries containing 3 to 5 loci in one multiplex. In order to obtain genotypes with enough variation for population studies, kinship analysis, and phylogeny, it is often necessary to amplify replicate data sets with two, three, or more multiplexes and then combine the genotypes into one complete genotype before continuing with post-genotyping analysis. The second half of today's webinar will use the Merge Project tool to provide a complete genotype and then use this combined genotype for database searching, kinship analysis, and dendrograms from the clustering analysis in GeneMarker. As a quick review from the introductory tutorial, data is imported using the File drop-down or the Open Data Start Project menu, then clicking OK. The main analysis screen contains a list of data files, the electropharogram of selected files, and a synthetic gel image. Please view the introductory GeneMarker webinar for details regarding linked navigation, zooming in and out, the all-color browser, and viewing individual dye channels. A three-page run wizard is used to make size calls and to save run parameters in a template for routine analysis of similar data sets. Activate the run wizard from the project drop-down menu by selecting run. In the first screen of the run wizard, select the radio button to create a new template. Type in the desired template name. For this first run, leave the panel selection at None. Select the size standard, size color, and analysis type from the drop-down menu, and then click OK. The default settings of the second and third screen of the run wizard are commonly used settings for microsatellite analysis. Details are provided in the introductory GeneMarker webinar. After filling out these parameters, click OK to size call the data. Size and quality is displayed in three formats. In color-coded sheets to the left of the file name in the file name tree indicated here by the yellow arrow. Green indicates high quality size calls, yellow requires verification, and red indicates sizing did not occur. The synthetic gel image provides instant visualization of any size calls that are out of alignment. If there were a problematic internal size standard, the red bands in this image would not be in alignment with each other. A size call calibration table may be activated using the size calibration icon at the center of the toolbar. Size calibration charts provide a match score of the sample to the expected size and a size plot for each file. These charts may be printed or saved as additional verification of size and quality for the project. Next, we will discuss the five size call options, GeneMarker has five different sizing methods to enable researchers to use the method best suited for their internal size standard. For fragments ranging from 20 to 600 base pairs, such as commercially available standards GeneScan 500, GeneScan 600, ILS 500, and ILS 600, use either the local southern or the cubic spline radio buttons in the second screen of the run wizard. 
for commercially available kits, such as ROX 1000 and GeneScan 1200, select the local southern and large size radio buttons in the second screen of the Run Wizard. This will activate our unique curve fitting large size call algorithm optimized for these large commercial size standards. Many labs use custom large size standards that do not have even distribution of fragments from small to large size. GeneMarker has a spreadsheet to assist researchers in determining the custom parameters for curve fitting of their size standard and a dialog box to easily supply these parameters to the size calling algorithm. To apply this custom algorithm, enter the custom parameters in the Preferences dialog and then select the Cubic Spline and Large Size Radio buttons in the second screen of the Run Wizard. The fifth sizing method uses a slope between flanking peaks to make the size call for nonlinear data, um, data from samples with extreme size range, or from agrose electrophoresis. A description of the customized size standard XML file used to apply this method is located in Chapter 4 of the User Manual. We will use some examples to illustrate the benefits of si selecting a size calling algorithm that is best suited for different large size standards. The upper figures are large size internal lane standards that were analyzed using the local southern method. Each has data that deviates from the linear range. The lower figures are the same size standards but analyzed with unique gene marker size calling algorithms showing improved linear range for the internal size standard of these large calls. At the left, the large size algorithm provides linear range for all of the fragments in GeneScan 1200. The custom large size curve fit method in the center of the screen provides an improvement in linear range for this custom large size standard that has most of the fragments concentrated in the upper size range and only a few in the lower size range. The flanking peak size calling at the far right provides linear range for this custom size standard. The panel is a file containing all of the loci and alleles that may result from the PCR. It is used by the program to make allele calls and allows the program to use pattern recognition in the allele calling. The panel editor is a flexible tool that simplifies custom panel creation, calibration, and editing in cases when additional information regarding the alleles of a population becomes known after the population research is already in progress. Panels may be created manually or automatically using all or selected samples. We will look first at the manual panel creation. Select Create New Panel from the File drop-down menu. Type in the name of the panel and select Fragment Type from the drop-down menu. Select Manually Create and OK. In the Panel Editor, select the Trace Overlay view to display the traces of all of the samples. Use the right mouse button to click on each peak and to, to be added to the panel. Continue with the Allele Editor for all loci and alleles. Use the color selection icon to toggle to the next die channel. The finished panel will display the el labeled electropherogram with the panel chart below the trace. Use the create new panel function to automatically create a panel using all of the samples or selected samples. The panel editor automatically makes the panel, making bins for groups of peaks. Right click on the marker name and select delete marker for artifact peaks. Right click and select edit marker to rename the locus. Or you may also right click on individual alleles to delete or use the control key of the keyboard and the right mouse to highlight entire groups of alleles to change or delete. Please refer to the introductory gene marker webinar for details on panel calibration and auto adjustment. Return then to the main analysis window and select the saved panel using the drop down menu. Click the save icon to save the microsatellite template. Click next, next and OK to apply the panel. In the main analysis window, use the linked navigation to review analysis and make any edits or comments. See introductory gene marker webinar for these navigation, editing and allele report format options. Additional tools that are helpful to many microsatellite analysis projects include recall samples by marker or die and addition of samples to a project. 
Occasionally, a new allele is discovered in a population after the analysis and edits have started. To recall the samples without losing previous edits to other markers, simply use the panel editor to add the new alleles to the panel and then save this panel. Return to the main analysis screen and activate the Call Allele drop-down menu. Select from the main options and then Recall Alleles dialog box. Click OK to recall only the marker or die selected. Edits to all of the other dies will not be lost because these dies were not recalled. Adding samples to a project may be used for any additional samples that were produced with the same capillary electrophoresis conditions. By using the Project Add Samples to Project option, the newly added samples are analyzed using the same parameters as the existing project. The previously made edits will not be lost only the newly added files are being processed.